a blissful day to everyone. Today, I will discuss to you about the important process of photosynthesis and its two distinct phases. Now, are you ready? Let's get started. What is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process in which plants and some kinds of bacteria use light energy to produce their own food. It converts light energy to chemical energy. In addition, chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis. It is important in the conversion of light energy to chemical energy during the process. The light-dependent phase of photosynthesis. The light-dependent phase occurs in the chloroplast scranum and requires the presence of light. The process continues in a complex protein system inside the granum which is collectively known as photosystem. There are two photosystems known as PS1 and PS2. The two photosystems absorb light energy through proteins containing pigments, such as chlorophyll. The process when chlorophyll absorbs light energy from the sun in photosystem 2 is called chlorophyll photoactivation. It causes chlorophyll to release energized or excited electrons. Chlorophyll absorbs the red and blue segment of the white light. And photosynthesis occurs efficiently at these wavelengths. The energized electrons released by chlorophyll in PS2 pass down the electron transport chain to PS1. The molecules there have the capacity to receive electrons. But, there is a lose of energy along the way. In PS1, the electron is excited again. And pass down the second leg of the electron transport chain to a final electron acceptor. The process of photolysis. In the process, protein associated with the chlorophyll molecule split water into hydrogen ions, electrons, and oxygen. The oxygen gas is released into the atmosphere. The hydrogen ions are used in binding them to NADP plus molecules, which are hydrogen carriers and electron acceptor of the cell. Some of the electrons from the electron transport chain are used to make adenosine diphosphate, or ADP into adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. The process in which phosphate group combines with the molecules of ADP in the presence of light is called photophosphorylation. The main products of the light-dependent phase of photosynthesis are ATP and NADPH. The byproduct of this phase is oxygen. The light energy is used only in the first phase of photosynthesis. The products ATP and NADPH are important for the subsequent dark reaction of photosynthesis, as they are sources of energy that will be stored in the form of glucose. Let me give you the summary of the lesson. Energy is absorbed from the sun by the chlorophyll through the process of chlorophyll photoactivation in photosystem 2. Then, the energized electrons do the following. Water is broken down through the process of photolysis in photosystem 2. Wherein, oxygen is released into the atmosphere. While hydrogen ions are transported across the thylakoid membrane to the reaction center. In photosystem 2. It generates ADP from ADP through the process of photophosphorylation. In photosystem 1, energy is absorbed from the sun. The energized electrons travel down to the electron transport chain. The high energy electrons are used to produce high energy carrier NADPH from NADP. To summarize the light reaction, we can write it in this equation. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.